Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I hope you're having an amazing day. So today I am going to be showing you what I got from Timu. Mostly nail supplies as usual. I do also have an affiliate code and link with Timu. If you're a new Timu app user, you can get 30% off through my affiliate code or link. And if you use the code, you just have to type the code into the search box on the Timu app. Or you can, of course, just use the link. But anyways, let's get straight into the haul. All right, so everything is here in this bag. And I am trying something a little bit new in today's video. I am going to be talking as I am showing you the products instead of just doing a voiceover. So we will see how that goes. Um, so I'm just going to pull out whatever I get out first of the bag. And it looks like this is some sort of gel polish. So let's see. Okay, so I believe this is a sparkly silver gel polish, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna just go ahead and open it up. I had a little bit of trouble opening it, but I finally got it open and I was right. It is a sparkly silver potted gel polish. So it's pretty thick. Um, like I can turn it upside down and it won't come out and I think it just looks so pretty. I'm so excited to try it out. Hey, future Mandy here. I might pop in occasionally during this video just to say a few things if I forgot to mention something um, while I was filming this video. So right now I'm just watching this gorgeous sparkly silver gel polish. And if you want it to like cover the whole entire nail, you can always build it up and do like two or three coats, but I think it looks super good just doing one coat. And I just really, really like this gel polish. Next thing are these adorable butterfly sparkly um, stickers. Look how pretty these are. I think I'm going to use these in my next nail set. Um, I did a poll on my community tabs where um, you guys get to choose my nails and one of the accent colors is um, silver and I might use one of these. Um, by the way, if you guys do hear a cat in the background, that's because there is a cat in the background. Um, I'm taking care of my boyfriend's cat right now, so she likes to talk a lot. Next, I got a bulk pack of 180 grit files because if you like to do your nails like at least once a week like I do, you can never have too many files. Um, so I think it comes with 10. I'm just going to pull one out and show you guys. They have flowers on them, so they're super pretty. And they do seem pretty good quality. I've seen these nail charms around a lot. And I wanted to get some because I thought they were so pretty. They do come in various different colors, but I just got black ones, black and silver. And here it is kind of compared to my thumbnail. I would probably use these on longer nails, like fake longer nails. But um, yeah, they're so pretty. And there's like a heart at the top. They look like planets. Okay, I'm going to open this up. I don't remember what's in here. Oh yeah, I got these. Um, so I'm going to be showing you some cat eye gel polishes I got from Timu later on in the video. But I also got these magnets to make different shapes with the cat eye gel polishes. And I might try them a little bit in this video, but I will make like a dedicated video where I'm trying out all of the cat eye gel polishes from Timu and all of these um, magnets. 
and there's just a whole bunch of um, patterns and shapes and I really like this heart. I'll be curious to see if these actually work. This I am super excited for. Um, so it's called Fudge UVG UV Gel and um, it's in a tube and you just squirt it out and it's supposed to be pretty thick so that you can make um, 3D nail art. I think I'm just gonna squirt a little bit out on a sheet of paper so you guys can see. So yeah, I just got clear, but it also comes in um, other colors as well. And as you can see, it's kind of thick, so you can do 3D nail art. Next, I got some swatching sticks. Um, this pack comes with 50. But you can also get a hundred packs as well and probably even more than that and um, you can choose the shape i just got coffin i like to swatch basically all the gel polishes that i get so i do run through them fairly quickly i also like that it comes with like a little ring you can put all of them on as well Okay, this is actually not nail art related, but I did get a phone case. And look how cute these mushrooms are. I really like mushroom printed things. So I am super excited for this phone case. It is just so adorable. And I've never gotten a phone case from Timu, but it actually seems like pretty sturdy and I think it'll hold up for quite a while. This is another thing I am really excited to try. It is a peel off gel base coat and um, I just like trying out different peel off base coats to see which one is the best and I didn't know Timu had peel off base coats. Um, and specifically peel off gel base coats, but here is the consistency. I will make a dedicated video about this peel off base coat and I'll let you guys know if it actually works and how well it works. I got some really pretty star nail charms with rhinestones on them. And I feel like they would go really well with the other nail charms that look like planets that I was showing you guys earlier. So it has like kind of a rhinestone piece hanging off of the star. And here is what it looks like on my thumbnail. Again, I would probably use these on like a longer nail just because they do look a little large. Um, on a natural nail but obviously they still do fit on my natural nails and um that's just my opinion but i still think they would look good on short and long nails so here you guys can just see them more up close this potted gel polish I am super excited to see what it looks like. It's supposed to give like that Aurora effect. Um, and it's kind of like a sparkly blue. Yeah, so I was right. It is kind of a blue color, but it kind of has an opal effect as well. So like if you move it around, it kind of turns purple. It does look like it's a little more liquidy than that other potted gel polish, but it does say that it is a top coat. So I am wondering if it doesn't have a sticky layer. That will be really interesting to try out. And I think it's so, so pretty. I can't wait to try it. So I am going to go ahead and swatch this Aurora top coat gel polish and, um, Yes, I did find out that it does not have a sticky layer, so it works just like a no wipe top coat would. And I just think it's really cool. I've never used anything like this. The only top coats I've used is just 
regular clear top coat with nothing in it and I am really excited to try it out in future nail sets. I also got, I think this is a 50 pack of purple nail buffers. Same thing with files. If you like doing your nails a lot, then um, you can never have enough buffers. So here is what one of them looks like. It looks like there's a little sunspot coming in. So pretty. All right, next thing are these, um, why can't I think of the word? Nail art brushes. Um, and I'm having trouble opening this. Okay, that was a little tough to open, but I got it open finally. And I love that they're pink with this kind of gold color in the middle and I've been searching for um, better quality nail brushes because the ones I use aren't really that great of quality but honestly just looking at these they look better quality than the ones I have right now so I'm really excited to try them out um, because they do look pretty nice so it comes with a really long one and um, I do also like that they have lids and you can just put them at the other side of the brush uh, when you're using them. And then it also has um, shorter ones, so a really nice variety. So here they are up close. They seem pretty sturdy and good quality. I think I am going to really like these. Next, I got some sticky tabs for press on nails. I don't wear press on nails a lot. And when I do wear press on nails, I like to use nail glue usually. Um, but there's occasional times where I'll like to have temporary press on nails that just last a day or two so that is why i got some of these sticky tabs and then just a couple more items looks like i got a pink burrito <laughs> no um i got some pink gloves it's interesting they're just like in a bag and not a box but they were pretty inexpensive so um and it seems like they do fit really well. I was worried they would be like too big or small, but I think they fit my hand pretty well. And I love that they're pink. This is the last thing, but there are several things in this box and it is a cat eye nail gel kit. And I've never tried cat eye before and I keep on seeing it like on Instagram and TikTok and just everywhere. And I've been really wanting to try it for quite a while now. So I'm just going to show you all the colors and swatch them. So actually before I show you all the colors, I'm just going to show you the other things it came with. So it came with this cute little brush with some pink on the top and rhinestones. Super pretty. It also came with um, a little nail file. And then one more thing, it's kind of tiny, but it came with a magnet. So this kit came with six different cat eye gel polishes and then one black gel polish because um, the cat eye usually shows better, um, shows up better underneath some sort of darker gel polish. So that is why it came with um, a black gel polish as well. So that was just kind of like a pink cat eye this one looks to be blue yep 
This is really, really pretty. I am so excited to try these out. This one is kind of a gold color. I think I'm gonna try out the magnet while the gel polish is still on the brush and see if it works that way. Whoops, I accidentally got some gel polish on the magnet. It looks like it does work. Um, I didn't know if you guys could see it though on camera, but I did see it move a little bit on the brush. Okay, moving on to the next color. Purple cat eye. All of these are just so gorgeous. I don't know which one is my favorite. Maybe the blue one. That one was really pretty. A silver cat eye. And then this was the black gel polish I was talking about. So I think that it's nice. It includes a black gel polish. Um, of course you can do cat eye just by itself, but it just does show up better under a darker color. And then the last cat eye gel polish it comes with. Kind of another silverish color, but maybe a bit darker. I am now going to swatch all of the cat eye gel polishes. So first on all of my swatching sticks, I'm just going to do one coat of the black gel polish. And I was really impressed with this black gel polish. It was super pigmented and it just went on really nicely. And I was just really impressed with the quality of this black gel polish as well as the cat eye gel polishes. I'm going to be doing a couple designs just using the regular magnet and then for the rest of them I'm going to be trying out those other magnets I showed earlier in the video where it makes a specific shape like the hearts and um, zigzags and stuff like that so that'll be really interesting to try.
let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite cat eye gel polish that i swatched for me it was the blue one i just could not believe how gorgeous that blue cat eye gel polish was thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this t moon nail supplies haul and make sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video and i hope to see you in my next video Bye.